Hi, this is Lynn Birdwell, and I'm here with Juliette Stepetch from the City of Houston. She's the Director of Education. Welcome. Thank you. So, Juliette, tell me what you do. Well, it's a new position that was created by Mayor Sylvester Turner in February of 2016. And Mayor wanted to have someone at the city that was going to be able to uh, be transformative and innovative and making sure that education is something that is consistently thought of in the minds of Houstonians. So we uh, created a, a, an office that assists with collaboration, coordination, and communication amongst the various educational entities in the city of Houston. And my goodness, there are certainly a lot. So you're dealing with the kids as they go through school. Is it all the way through college? Yes. Yes, we work with uh, early childhood education, the K-12 through system, and also higher education and workforce development and training. So we cover the full gamut from cradle to career, as they describe it. So, so this podcast is primarily about film production mm -hmm. and the production industry in Houston, but also just the entire creative industry economy that we have here in Houston. Yes. So I know that in some of the schools, just found out recently, have some wonderful production studio sets set yes. up for those kids to start that process. So tell me about those. So there are some amazing programs at the elementary, middle school, and high school level for young people to have an opportunity to experience uh, what it's like to be in the, the film and the art uh, uh, career. And so you have some places that literally have full-fledged studios that are operated by young people, and they write, produce, edit, and learn uh, cutting edge uh, information from everything from the technology that they're able to use and have access to. And I have worked with uh, some schools that have produced some short films and documentaries mm -hmm. that went on to receive prizes at the state level. Um, at Fur High School, I worked with a group of young people and they created a documentary called The Other Side of Town. And it was extraordinarily influential on my perspective of serving as a school board member. So these programs, do these kids have an opportunity to have a vocational outcome and stay in Houston? That's well, my goal. Well, I think that's, that's how we can sit and talk about how we can better connect those that are in the industry to those that are aspiring towards being in that industry. I think young people uh, are consistently looking for mentors and role models. And we know that, you know, sometimes... Uh, the pace of the economy and transformation of things occurs so quickly that it's really important for schools to connect to those leaders in the community that actually know what's going on in industry because sometimes the children may get something that is uh, outdated or uh, might be dated. And so we want them to be learning what they need to know the most of in order to be able to connect and get that career in the film industry that they so desire. And that really requires building social capital, knowing mm -hmm. the right people, mm -hmm. and connecting to people such as yourself. So you had a sister who went to one of our very famous art schools yes. here in Houston, the High School of Visual and Performing Arts. Yes. So tell me about how that was for her. So my sister, she never had an opportunity to take a formal art class, but she always had a passion uh, to, to draw. And my parents always encouraged her. And so my dad would buy books, and she would try you know, everything with crayons and <laughs> pencils and poster boards. And so she was accepted into the High School for Performing and Visual Arts because they saw that she had natural talent. And so um, it just was something that allowed me to see a larger world as well. Visiting HSPVA as, a, as a, my sister's little sister uh, was just an amazing experience. Um, and that, my sister says that it were it not for art, she does not know where she would be today. Art is transformative. And I heard someone say, I was at an event uh, this week, and one of the major patrons, it was a theater event, and he said, theater is so important, we cannot let it die. There are certain times, and we are in those times now, right. where sometimes art is the only way we can communicate. Absolutely. And I think that's something that my sister told me, too. She was like, there are moments in my life when art was the only way that I could find uh, the most satisfactory way of expressing myself. And so, and I think that Working collaboratively in um, using the creative expression, it's an opportunity for those that are vulnerable and voiceless to be heard. Mm -hmm. um, it's also important for young people to have a creative, expressive outlet. It's important to be able to develop the mindset of, of older people that may not be familiar with a particular community. And so art, in so many different ways, is truly transformative in terms of its method of communication, 
but also creation. It is truly something that allows a person to feel a sense of, of self-motivation, mm -hmm. of, of just being able to create something that is able to exist in the world and sh to be able to share that with others is very transformative and empowering for young mm -hmm. people. It, it is. And I was talking with someone at the UN this week who said that they thought in communities all over the world, the arts were where additional jobs can be created for people who may not be good fits for other kind of jobs, help them grow in other ways. Yes. And so that's another conversation too. So I film, from my perspective, is an economic industry, but it's also yes. an art form. Yes. And um, only through the schools, I think, can we start our city thinking that way. I, I agree. I think that um, you're truly a visionary in recognizing that the pipeline starts, uh, whether it be pre-K or elementary. Um, you know, young people, the, the longer they have an opportunity to have rich access to the arts and be able to talk to industry experts, um, the reality of joining and becoming a part of the film industry is a reality. And so the artist artistry is uh, extraordinarily important in developing this unique perspective and being able to create, but also being able to connect to the economic opportunity mm -hmm. that allows one to then be able to have the capital and the support to be able to turn their art pieces into things that can bring uh, job opportunities and investments into the community as well. So we want it to be win-win and what's the best way for us to be able to allow the workforce pipeline to develop in the most appropriate way? It's coordinating and connecting industry mavens and leaders to the young people so they we have examples and role models for which to follow. It also gives them places to go directly to yes. uh, immediately after their education yes. instead of thinking they have to go to Hollywood, they have to go to New right. York, they can see that they can create here. Yes. Thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, I it's really been appreciate a it. It's been a pleasure <laughs> and an honor. And you know, it's like one of Mayor's initiatives is the Higher Houston Youth Program, and we would love to see how we can try to get some more collaboration for young people to be able to work in the film industry. So let us know. We'd love to partner, and we're just we deeply need grateful. To grow. This will yes. be all for Houston. That's right. Thank, Thank you, you so Juliet. much. I appreciate it.